Hello and welcome to my podcast. This is Soul Enlightened and my name is Naomi. I am so grateful to be with you guys here today because today I want to touch on so many different things, but I decided my focus to be on life purpose. I definitely believe that a life purpose can be a driving force to really help you keep hope in the darkest of times. But oftentimes we're constantly in this rat race to find our purpose. And we don't need to be. In reality, our purpose is going to come to us at the right time. And it's something that we're already amazing at, that we already do naturally, but we just don't see it. It's the same way whenever your car is working just fine, you don't even notice anything about your car. But the moment, you know, a bolt is loose and you hear it go click, 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 you're like, oh, wait a second, something's wrong with my car. <laughs> That's the best analogy I can give it. But oftentimes our life purpose is something that we are very confident in. And for me, my life purpose is helping people, helping them just to live their lives as they want to see it. Because at the end of the day, there is nothing that brings me more joy than watching people enjoy their lives. And no more joy can ever come from me just living my own life as well. It is so important for me to live my own life and to find joy in my life. So whenever I see somebody else also enjoying life, it's amazing. Currently, I work with children. And every day I work with children, they remind me that at one point, we were all just trying to figure it out and understand the world. That it didn't always come easy. That oftentimes, we would just cry because things weren't working out the way we wanted it to. When we were kids, something as small as putting our shoe on would make us cry. But at the same time, even as children, we had this gift, this purpose, and we were showing it to the world. When I was a kid, I could tell when someone was having a bad day and they really just needed help or they needed someone to just listen to them. And not even fully understanding the world, I would turn around and I would help that person. Now, while not every occurrence of me helping somebody has been appreciated, especially when I was a kid, I never stopped to think twice about helping others. And for that, I am grateful. So as you discover what your life purpose is for you, know that there is no timeline for when you have to discover it. You can discover it at 80 years old. You can discover it at 30, at 10. There is no time limit and there never will be. It's only about when you align with your life purpose. Abraham Hicks says something that really touches my soul and she says, that you cannot help somebody from a, from a place of pain. You can only really help somebody from a place of your peace. And I used to think that was ridiculous. I would think, well, how is that possible? I have to feel pain. I have to be in this mindset. I have to, you know, struggle with these people. And it turns out, as I've been healing and growing and enjoying life, I discovered that when I am at peace with myself, I am more willing, more open, and more aligned with those people I am trying to help. <clears throat> it is no longer 
a feeling of, oh, I have to do this because it's my life purpose. And it becomes a point of attraction where I am doing it because it truly feels good. And that is what I keep looking forward to is the feeling of it feeling good. Another quote from Abraham Hicks that has been around my mind all day is the quote, I accept ease. I allow ease into my life. I allow things to happen just as they should and I release control over how I think they should look. I release control over how I think things should happen. I allow myself to experience ease. I am ease. And when I would listen to her podcasts or her her videos that other people post, I realized that for the longest time, I didn't quite understand what she meant by that ease. I didn't quite understand how that would affect my life. But I was determined to understand it. So I took the initiative. And I tried my best to live with ease. And it was actually really hard at first. Which is completely understandable. It's something I've never done before. And because it was something I had never done before, I didn't know how to be patient with myself. So I would get angry at myself. I would become unkind to myself. I would find ways to bring myself down and not be an advocate and supportive to myself. But even though I experienced all those harsh emotions and harsh thoughts, I reminded myself that this is something I've never done before. I've never allowed myself to experience ease. And it was okay to make that space for me to learn how to feel ease. And how ease felt to me was just trusting everything will work out just as it would. I have this beautiful gift of foresight and I've seen how my life will turn out and it is so beautiful. And at first I tried to control that. I tried to find ways to get there, shortcuts, anything to just get where I want to be. And now I want to do nothing more than to just be present and enjoy the process of getting there. Because when I'm finally there, when I'm experiencing the life I had wanted to experience all of this time, it's not going to change the fact that I still had to live through those moments. That every single moment that would happen wasn't going to happen. I had to continue to experience those moments no matter what they meant, no matter how they felt, no matter what thoughts came up. I just had to experience it. And it wasn't easy to experience at first. Even with my gift of foresight, I was so terrified of living a life that was full of ease. And I realized that came from a mindset of living a life where I never was able to just to live and breathe, to step out of survival and to step into ease. And as I got older and the months passed by and I continued to practice that ease, I realized that sometimes we have to make those mistakes. We have to rush through life 
we have to focus on things that do not matter to us. Because once we realize what we do not want, we become aware and send energy and desires into the universe to align with what we actually want. So today, don't be afraid of making mistakes. Today and every day after, know that all of your mistakes are leading you to the person that you have wanted to be and you will be because you are a divine creator and you are creating a life worthy of you with the universe. So never lose hope. You got this. Thank you for listening. And before I, before I wish you to have an amazing day, go ahead and like and subscribe if you would like to. If this resonated with you and you would like to hear more, please let me know in the comments. I love what I am doing here and I would love to hear it from you too. Thank you for being here and thank you for being present and have an amazing day.